Uh, Megan, hi. Hi. Megan and Jenna here. Hello. Hi. Good morning. So you're the fashion police from PETA. You know what? We have a long history with PETA. Oh, really? <laughs> on yeah. this program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just had your national director on the show. Yes, Ingrid was on. Ingrid. Thank you for having us on. She was very nice. She yeah. absolutely is. She was very nice. It yeah. was nice to have her on, considering we crashed a few PETA parties with our portable barbecue grill and kielbasas in really? the past. Oh. Well, well, you know, it's not radio. very classy, guys. It's radio. Yeah, we never, it's not very classy. Yeah, we don't intend to be classy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, today I guess we're, we're not either. I mean, we are wearing sexy cop uniforms. Yeah, you are, yeah, and you look great. <laughs> you didn't stick yourself yeah. with that badge, I hope. No, no, this is a. This it is needs to be straightened, though. Can I, I help know. You, you know, I, I think I got it covered. Do you? Actually, Megan. Really, I think Johnny's you, straightening uh, right now. But yeah, we're we're going to be uh, citing people down on the strip today for violating the code of common decency. Okay. And wearing animal skins. I'm looking at one of the tickets here, Department of Public Decency Violation Notice, and there's three categories: mm. mm -hmm. felonious fur wearing. True. Not really the season for it, but no. But it is Vegas. It, You're gonna uh, see some old Vegas hag out there with <laughs> shampoo, with a cigarette, and a holder. Hey. Well, yeah. You know, as as the seasons change, as it warms up, we do stop seeing so much fur. Fortunately, um, we actually, you know, we don't see too much fur during the winter anymore either, because yeah. you know, tastemakers and young people, by and large, are turning away from it because you know the information about the cruelty behind the scenes is becoming more accessible. But we are seeing leather and exotic skins on the market right now, and that's yeah. something that we want to remind people to stay away from Absolutely. because... You might want to go to the clubs then this evening. You know, we oh, just yeah. might. We just Johnny might. Snakeskin's yeah. going to be there. Uh, we may be arresting people at the clubs tonight um, because we want to remind people that no matter how you know trendy that croc bag or pricey those lizard boots were, mm. the cost of animal suffering is far greater. Well, if they're wearing snakeskin or lizard boots, they deserve to be arrested. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's also just tacky. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, these animals are, are routinely just tortured and skinned alive. It is, it is the rule, not the exception. And I think anyone with a cat or a dog any companion animal at home can realize that these are sentient beings and they feel pain and fear just as all animals do even if they're not you know cute or cuddly per se we're talking about alligators snakes and, and I, I would like to make a deal with you girls and uh, I mean we're going into the barbecue season now right. and all of that and I've had those so tofu we. burgers and they're disgusting oh you know you are not looking in the right places because oh you know, we, listen, we are also listen, big barbecue fans here's the deal I have brought a pack of John Morrell Jumbo Hot Dogs oh, in this best. morning. Yeah. I would like to make a deal with you girls, and we've all agreed to do this. For uh -huh. every bite you take of a wiener, we'll give up meat for a week. Well, you know, this is the thing. Um, not only are those disgusting because they're not made with um, they're everything that it's you think is in the chicken No, pork. It's, it's not pork. You know, it's I got to tell you, uh, those, are so, those are so bad for you that um, I wouldn't... I wouldn't Eat those, and plus, even um, if I didn't care about animals, and because such insane but, 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 animal but, 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 cruelty but, 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 goes into making listen, listen, products like that, you guys are hawking. Don't eat. Don't wear fur. Right. Don't eat meat. Mm -hmm. People, you know, die for their cause. The least you could do is take a bite of a wiener <laughs> to get us, all of us, to give up meat well, you know, for I, a week. I, okay, I seriously doubt that you guys are going to do that. I just swear. Just taking a bite I, of I a wiener. I swear. But uh, we'd gladly take a bite of some uh, much more healthy and delicious and cruelty-free veggie dogs. <laughs> yeah. And we do, in fact, uh, barbecue well, our own uh, veggie burgers and veggie dogs all the time. The and deal I'll... is, if for every bite, just a little nibble <laughs> off of this wiener. Well, you know, we can come back and bring our veggie dogs and maybe, you know, we will work out a different kind of deal. You guys can take a bite of some real veggie wieners. <laughs> yeah, but then and, what uh, about growing man boobs? The veggie wieners, yeah, so where the soy thing. You know, you're much more likely to grow man boobs from the hormones in milk. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, because cause they say, you know, the soy, yeah, they well, want guys to stay away from soy because you get a... You know, they, you they, get a move. There's a lot of speculation about um, different... Uh, Things you would have to eat so much soy in order for that to be yeah, awesome. Really? You know, there's, been, there's been cases that... One um, bite off our wiener. You know, that, that looks so disgusting. I yeah. can't even tell you. I mean, if you think about it, what this is what went into making that wiener. When I look at this, this is what I see. I'm looking at this, this wiggly wiener is. that... that uh, uh, Mr. Man Great. is holding up right now, and what, I, what I'm seeing is 
Okay. You said this is cow and turkey, no, or it's what? It's turkey and chicken, chicken, and, chicken, pork. chicken and pork. Chicken, chicken and, and pork. pork. Okay. Oh, that's a We're talking yeah. about <laughs> pigs who are living their entire lives crammed into um, gestation crates and confinement crates so small they can't even turn around. Some of them can't even lie down. They're developing open sores all over their bodies from rubbing up against the bars. They're living in their own crap. That their is entire lives. Jen, they are you, forced you, to live in their own. You feces. guys keep saying, well, the the sheep or they're being herded up in these malicious ways. Well, what if the pigs had a great place to live in? Would it be okay to slaughter them after? Like, what if they gave well, them a Xanax right before they chopped their head off? You and know, they couldn't feel anything. Obviously, Would that be okay? obviously, we know that animal liberation isn't going to happen overnight. Yeah. So we do we do support animal welfare causes like improving slaughterhouse conditions, right. etc. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I I wouldn't consider um, killing an animal to eat it, even if it was done in a more humane fashion. Yeah. And really, you know, any better than killing a human who was killed in a very humane fashion. I mean, okay. well, you know what, I, this whole thing, I would not, <laughs> I would love Plus, to see you, know, you put this wiener in your if mouth. I took, if, you know what, because, <laughs> because the human body is, is so not meant to eat that kind of food, um, we, we, our enzymes d wouldn't work to digest that. If I took a bite of that thing, I would probably get sick all over your office here. Really? And also, yeah. And yeah, also it's so really, hot it's just, we wouldn't even mind. You, you know, know, it's, you it's, know, it's, you know hot right you're puking, that and that's fine. That stuff is yeah. just so bad for you guys. You're I mean, not if, the first girl if, to if, barf in my lap. Oh, 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 yeah. Well, you know, if you went, if you went vegetarian, I bet that your uh, caliber of women would get a lot higher. Well, they don't get any higher than my wife. <laughs> well, yeah, he's married, so. Oh, well. And also, there's been studies that eating meat causes impotence in men, and as we know as women, that's not very sexy. I'll tell you what, no, if you stick this wiener see. in your mouth, that'll cure my impotence right there. <laughs> yeah, well, it would, it would probably make us Craig, sick for the rest of our lives. that's a swine flu tube right okay, there. Yeah, you know, I mean, right. Well, it was only a dare. It was only a dare.